Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve or gain error. This is Windows Update. Can I currently check for updates because updates on this computer are controlled by your system administrator? So this tutorial is going to go over how to resolve the issue for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 computers. The first method I'm going to go over is going to apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and all editions of Windows 10 except for the Home Edition. The second method I'm going to show later in this video is going to apply for specifically Windows 10 Home users, even though all users can use the second method. Unfortunately, Windows 10 Home can use the first method. Since the majority of you guys will be using a computer that fits within the first method's criteria and it's easier, that's the one we're going to start with in today's tutorial, but both should achieve the same result. So let's just jump right into it. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just off on the start button one time. Type in local group policy. Best match should come back to edit group policy, just left click on that one time. And I'm going to expand this view a little bit, just dragging over the sides of this window. And you want to go ahead and expand the computer configuration section by going down to administrative templates. Expand that again underneath the computer configuration section, not the user configuration section. So underneath administrative templates, expand the Windows components. So either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it like I was doing before. Underneath Windows components, go down to Windows Update right here. Just left click on that folder one time. On the right panel here, you want to go look for Configure Automatic Updates. Double click on it. And now you want to set the left side here to Enabled. So set it to Enabled. And underneath Configure Automatic Updating, you want to click inside this drop down and select Allow Local Admin to Choose Setting. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead, left click on Apply and OK. And there you go, pretty straightforward. Now if you're running Windows 10 Home Edition, I am going to show you guys a workaround for that one too. So that would be simply to go open up the star menu, type in RegEdit. Again, if you're on Windows 10 Home and all the other versions, trip, just restart your computer and hopefully you'll be good to go. But for Windows 10 Home, you're going to go over to RegEdit, right click on it, left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now, I would suggest creating a back of your registry before doing anything further. So just left click on the File tab, left click on Export. Now you just rename the file whatever you want, Export Range, set it to All, and then just save it to a location. You'll easily be able to retrieve it later. And if you ever have to go back to the backup, just do File and Import. Pretty straightforward, and then just locate it. So once you're in the registry editor here, you want to go expand the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to, to expand it. Now you want to go down and expand the software folder. So expand software. Now you want to do the same thing for policies. And now expand Microsoft. Now you want to expand Windows. And you also now lastly you want to expand Windows Update should be an AU folder in here. Just left click on the AU one time. And now on the right side, there should be something that says AU options. You want to just double click on it. For the value data in here, you want to set it to number five, which will refer to the policy that we saw in the local group policy editor that said to allow local admin to choose settings. So once you have it at number five, so just type the number five in here. Left click on OK. Close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that should resolve your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.